Hey there. Welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and in the Amazon store. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, hit that notification bell and likes and comments and questions are welcome. Okay. Let's see here. I've got Vineyard and Blanco and Sep Green and the acrylic ink. Um, and I need to go find my blower because my granddaughter took off with it. Okay, we got the Tim Holtz blower. And um, it's the blow, called the blowing tool. So it's it's fabulous. Got plenty of uh, pressure behind it. And uh, yeah, this is what we're going to use. All right, let me think. I think I want three flowers. Three, yeah. This is the Blanco. Now I'm going to mix it. I gotta shake it. Okay. Um. Okay, and we'll go this way. And we'll start here. Now, on that very end, there's some wet. I keep blowing until that dries because if you don't and you leave it alone, it'll start spreading so it'll become a rounded corner. Put a lot of white right there. Now I'm wanting to dry this, but I don't want it to go any farther, and we'll go side to side. Don't worry about that. I mean that that adds cool cool to it. It's just really neat. Um, don't want to come up. And I don't think it really matters which one you put down first. I think the ratio is what. That's as far as I want. I really didn't want that blob at the top. So I will do another one over that. Because I don't like that at all. And it didn't reach. <laughs> of course it didn't. And that's going to be too much. It didn't reach either. Jeez, people. All right. And yeah, I guess you can go over this as many times as possible. Let's keep going, because I'm... I just don't even know. I'm going to scoot up. <laughs> there we go. Now. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Good gosh. All right. Yeah, just you, you, sometimes you just got to... Okay. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, we'll do one, a little one right here. <laughs> Maybe. The reason I do sideways is It'll create a long line like this, but if you go back, it's going to create a line this way. And you, nah, you don't want that. Okay. 
It's amazing what just a little bit of too much white or not enough creates. And then I'm going to do a little bud through here. I want it up here. Yeah, let's do it right here. No, right here. I'll do it right here. Oh, jeez. I just splatted. Alright, I like that that's kind of weird. Okay. This splat, don't worry about it, because you know what? I probably would have splatted anyway. All right, so that's that. Um, on the acrylic, I bought yesterday. Where did I put it? I'll be right back. Okay. This is a liner. You can see how long the bristles, how thin. These are great for making those long lines, skinny lines. Uh, yeah, I can't find my other one to save my life. So, I bought another one. Now, this is sap green. The reason I like it over, like, the Viridian or um, another another type of green, this one works really, really well. And I'll show you when I use this. Uh, it's a, called a catalyst um, or spatula. Some people want to call them art spatulas. But, um, yeah, I'll show you when I use this. But the thickness of it works great. So, let me think. The big one, it's going to come off like this. Don't worry about stuff like that. That makes fun. This one, I want to come off of that. This one can do this. They shouldn't have met there, but they did. So there. All right. All right. So here is how I use this. Now, I get it to where I've completely covered that in. I want some more. Okay. One right here. I'm going to go back over because I do not like what that just did. All right. That's going to have to do it. All right. And you never know. I'm, you know, it's hard with these things. Alright, and the th cool thing is, is not having exact adds to it. It's aggravating, don't get me wrong, but it adds to it. Now, I want to do a few little um, squiggles, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to use my Master. It's a TC320. It's got the dial. 
so you know the PSIs you are doing. It's got a moisture catcher. And I'm going to make the squiggles out of it. Just to add a little something. Now I'm taking the back of my brush. I'm going to dip it in just a little. I'm going to put a dot right there. And I'm not so sure if that's not good. I'm going to leave it. that does it on that leaf. <laughs> you never know what you find. Good grief. This is pretty cool. Alright. I wonder if I want to, what do I want to do there? I think I'm going to do some more squiggles because that way it will look like it's taking up space and without coloring it all the way. Because you're going to assume your viewer is going to assume what you present. And that's why when you never tell people what you don't like about your painting. I mean, I, I could do it in a heartbeat. I don't like that. I don't like those three ended right there. But if you don't tell it, and now you can't hardly tell it at all, people don't know. They're going to accept how you present it. So present it how you want them to see it. funny okay i love this um yeah that's awesome okay I, that that's staying i am going to splatter with green i don't know that i'm going to splatter with purple but when i splatter guess what these things that i'm not loving i mean i love them don't get me wrong <laughs> no i don't i don't like them but they're going to blend so yeah it's not it's not going to be that big of a deal so we get a good brush for that and it's this one i love these if you have a chance get some of them i don't know what they're called mops maybe a mop i don't know okay get the water in it i'm gonna water this down i'm gonna get some more because it is dried up And I'm only going to do it really kind of where the green is. Right there. Um, now, something I will say, and I'm struggling over here because I'm like, what in the world's going on? I don't like these paper plates. They're, they're absorbing my paint. Um, I like the ones that are plastic coated just for that. Now, I also use the back of my mailing labels. You know that piece of paper that's really slick? Keep those. Those are great. Uh, so there's that. And you know, oh gosh, do I want to do purple? I kind of do and I kind of don't. I think I'm going to leave it. If, if I can't decide that quickly, 
Um, I think I'm going to leave this. I might want to do a little more green if that's all I'm going to do. Um, just a little, just something more, maybe. Yeah, I'm leaving it. Okay. Yeah. I like this. Okay. Thanks for joining me, and y'all go have fun.